It's time for a story. Let's do a story. It's time for a story. It's time for a story. A very special story, especially for you. It's time for a story. It's time for a story. Sit down and listen. There once was a wealthy man, January, who decided that it was time for him to find a partner to share his estate with. His closest family members and friends advised him that women are unfaithful and deceitful, and he shouldn't subject himself to marry a woman. Thusly, January decided that the best way for him to find someone who respects his life achievements as much as he did was to find a good man to marry. After years of searching for a perfect partner, January finally found his ideal match, a tall brute of a man, Wendell Willie Wacker. The two decided to get married soon after the Supreme Court deemed that same-sex marriage was legal. The couple was determined to have the most fabulous reception the world has ever seen. They acquired everything that would make it just spectacular. The flowers, reception hall, decorations, everything except their wedding cake. Every bakery they went to denied them any cake that would suit their lavish tastes. Until one day, they met a baker by the name of Jack Phillips, the owner of Masterpiece Cake Shop, who agreed without any questions to bake them a marvelous cake. Their wedding was without a doubt a fabulous success. Several months later, after months of a happy marriage, January and Wendell decided to celebrate their three-month anniversary at the Adult Bar and Lounge. Upon entering the Flamboyant Club, the couple was greeted by a very beautiful hostess, dressed as skimpily as possible, whose name tag read Taylor. She handed them both large cocktails and escorted them to the reserve seats. January took a big gulp out of his complimentary drink and immediately fell an immense feeling of nausea. Suddenly, January had completely lost all the sight from his eyes. Wendell took him home to see their private physician. Here, let's go, honey. Where? Over here. Where's that? On the couch. Oh, yes. I like couches. Here, watch your step. Okay, I, I, I feel it with my stick. Oh, yeah, sounds like a really good idea. I don't know. This this life stinks. I can't see anything. Let's go on a nature walk. I make I, you feel like I guess some, the, some fresh air might help me. Yeah, I think it would. Even though I can't see the deer. Unknown to January, Wendell had been romantically involved with their wedding cake baker, Jack Phillips, and the Nietzsche walk was a ploy so the two could spend some quality time together. We should be nearing my old hunting stand. Oh, look at that. I'll go see if your old hunting stuff's up there. All right, hurry back, honey. Don't worry, it's going neat. The two proceeded to engage in sexual activities. Unknown to January, Jack was responsible for his blindness. He spiked the cocktail that January drank the night of the three-month anniversary. Then, a strange bottle filled with a colorful liquid fell out of Jack's coat pocket and landed square on January's head. Ooh. Honey, where are you? What is going on up there? Nothing, honey. Everything's all right. I don't know. I think I saw something up there. It's coming down right now. What were you doing up there? Nothing. Everything's all right. But I saw him. It was you and some other man. Here, come here. I can't believe we cured your blindness. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> 